The debate over what to do if a baby is born alive after an abortion took over the Kansas House today. That bill at question would require doctors to provide life-giving care on pain of probation or even a prison sentence. Cake senior political reporter Pilar Pedraza shows us what's going on and why some doctors say this happens more often than you might think. This debate was at times emotional as several lawmakers who've experienced the death of a newborn, sometimes their own child, shared their experiences on the House floor. In my case, or one of my cases, at 20 weeks gestationally, I found out that my baby was dead. When my doctor brought me the baby, um, he was fully formed, eyes, nose, ears, fingers. Moms, and chaplains, and doctors. Footprint. Kansans who've experienced infant or newborn deaths firsthand shared their experiences Monday. They were speaking out about a bill that would mandate doctors provide life-giving care if an abortion ends with a living infant. Events like those Representative Dr. John Epley says he experienced early in his career. Those infants were placed on a table and that was it. Many of them died within a few minutes, but some lingered for several hours and some lingered longer than that. The author titled it the Born Alive Bill. When a cry is heard during an abortion, that is a living child, an infant. And would we choose to make that abortionist a murderer? To me, this bill gives them an out. The supporters say the mandate would provide doctors with a clear guideline, giving them only one option when an infant survives an abortion something they say happens more often than Kansans might think. And over a three year period, I was directly or indirectly involved with 27 babies born alive after abortion in one town. While some Democrats also supported the proposal, others opposed it from medical, financial, legal, and humanitarian angles. A question was posed as to why could we not just wrap the fetus or at this gestational age and provide comfort and palliative care. I pose a re, uh, this question to the legislators. How do we know this doesn't happen? So we are actively choosing to put Kansas families into medical debt. In rural areas, how far is your local hospital? How much does that ambulance ride cost or that helicopter ride will cost you? Under this bill, if convicted of not providing that life-giving care, doctors would face anywhere from a year's probation for a first violation to upwards of 54 years in prison. The House gave the bill preliminary approval this afternoon by a better than two to one margin. They hold a final vote tomorrow on sending the proposal on to the Senate. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, on your side.